Dragon Burial Mound. I don't know what it's doing up there, but I'm not waiting around to find out. Come on, hurry. We might be too late. Salukunir, Zir Guru Tova Ulsa. Let's watch and wait. This is worse than I thought. Been wanting a closer look at one of these buggers. Wait, something's happening. God's above. So you really are. Get some shelter. Weird out this ringing. Oh, it's true, isn't it? You really are Dragonborn. I owe you some answers, don't I? Go ahead. Whatever you want to know. Nothing held back. Not a damn thing. I was just as surprised as you to find that big black dragon here. Really? Where? Interesting. Same dragon. Damn it. We're blundering around in the dark here. We need to figure out who's behind it all. I'm one of the last members of the Blades. A very long time ago, the Blades were dragon slayers. And we served the Dragonborn, the greatest Dragon Slayer. For the last 200 years since the last Dragonborn Emperor, the Blades have been searching for a purpose. Now that dragons are coming back, our purpose is clear again. We need to stop them. Exactly. Nobody even remembers our name these days. We used to be known across Tamriel as the protectors of the Septim Emperors. Those days are long gone, though. For the last 200 years, we've been searching for the next Dragonborn to guide and guard, as we are sworn to do. But we never found one, until now. The first thing we need to do is figure out who's behind the dragons. 
The Thalmor are our best lead. If they aren't involved, they'll know who is. Before the Great War, the Blades helped the Empire against the Thalmor. Our Grand Master saw them as the greatest threat to Tamriel. At the time, that was true. Maybe it still is. So we fought them in the shadows, all across Tamriel. We thought we were more than a match for them. We were wrong. Nothing solid, yet. But my gut tells me it can't be anybody else. The Empire had captured Ulfric. The war was basically over. Then a dragon attacks, Ulfric escapes, and the war is back on. And now the dragons are attacking everywhere, indiscriminately. Skyrim is weakened. The Empire is weakened. Who else gains from that but the Thalmor? We need to find out if the Thalmor are behind the dragons coming back. We need to get into the Thalmor Embassy somehow. Hmm, I'm not sure yet. I have a few ideas, but I'll need some time to pull things together. Meet me back in Riverwood. If I'm not back when you get there, wait for me. I shouldn't be long. Keep an eye on the sky. This is only going to get worse. I don't think you were followed. Come on, I have a plan. Hey, sweetheart. Hi. I think we've earned it. I figured out how we're going to get you into the Thalmor Embassy. I've been doing this a long time, remember? While the Thalmor have been looking for me, I've been watching them. The, first songs I ever learned. Ragnar the, Red. the Thalmor Ambassador, Eleanor, regularly throws parties where the rich and connected cozy up to the Thalmor. I can get the you into one of those parties. Once you're inside the embassy, you can get away and find Elenwen's secret day. files. I have a contact inside but the embassy. He He's not up for this kind of high-risk mission, he but he can help you. His say. name is Malborn. Wood Elf. Plenty of reason to hate the Thalmor. You can trust him. I'll get word for him to meet you in solitude at the Winking Skeever. You know it? While you're doing that, I'll work on getting you an invitation to Ellenwyn's little party. Meet me at the Solitude Stables after you've arranged things with Malborn. Any questions? When his ugly red head rolled around on the floor. That's when the fun starts. You'll have to slip away from the party without raising the alarm. Then you'll need to find Ellenwyn's office and search her files. Malborn should be able to point you in the right direction. Let me handle that. You'll have a real invitation, don't worry. As long as you can act the part of a Thalmor toady, you'll get past the guards. Don't worry about Malborn. He's not a dangerous character like you. But he hates the Thalmor at least as much as I do. He's a wood elf. The Thalmor wiped out his family back in Valenwood during one of their purges that we never hear about. Luckily, they don't know who he really is, or he wouldn't be serving drinks at the ambassador's parties. Sounds good. Be careful. <clears throat> I 
I've heard some things about Ulfric I don't like, but he's right about this war and about Skyrim's future. Oh, there once. Good to see you, my friend. Sure. What can I do for you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you must be a stormcloak through and through to request that one. We drink to our it's a daring plan Delphine's conceived. I don't like it. You sneaking into a Thalmor den. Drive out the empire from this land that we own. With our blood and our steel, we will take that back I'm aware of. Home. I'm also aware of what they're going to do oh, to you if you're caught. You Promise you'll be careful. In no uncalculated honor, risks. We drink and we sing. We're the children of Skyrim and we fight all our lives. When Southern Guard beckons, I'm holding you to that. But this land is ours, and we'll guess we better get going. Clean of the scourge that has sullied our hopes and our dreams. All hail to Ulfric. It's like traveling with a dumb shadow, so. Welcome to the Winking Skeever. This Take one's a, load a favorite. Off and enjoy of the atmosphere. A legend we all know and love. Good afternoon. Really? You're who she picked? I hope she knows what she's doing. Here's the deal. I can smuggle some equipment into the embassy for you. Don't plan on bringing anything else in with you. The Thalmor takes security very seriously. Give me what you can't live without, and I'll make sure to get it into the embassy. The rest is up to you. Okay, I'll get this inside the embassy for you. I've got to go. I'll find you at the party. Don't worry. Wielding power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe the dragonborn comes. It's an end to the evil of all Skyrim's foes. Beware, beware the dragonborn comes. For the darkness has passed and the legend yet grows. You'll know, you'll know the dragonborns come. wares and weapons, all for sale at fair prices. I 
Have you given Malborn the gear you want to smuggle into the embassy? Good. I have your invitation to the party. But the only way you're going to get past the guards is if they really believe you're an invited guest. Which means you need to look the part and not be armed to the teeth. Here, put this on. When you're ready, I'll keep the rest of your gear safe until you get back. You'll only have what Malborn smuggled in for you, plus whatever you can pick up inside. I guess that will have to do. You should pass for a real guest, at least until you open your mouth. Ready to board the carriage to the embassy? Don't worry, it will all be waiting for you when you get back. Just make sure you get back out of there alive with the information we need. Good luck. little soiree and arriving by carriage no less I salute you my good lady my lateness is due more to getting lost on the way up this God's forsaken mountain than to any desire to actually arrive late I prefer to arrive early often the day before the party so as not to miss out on any of the drinking there's not enough drinking in the world today wouldn't you agree Welcome to the Tholmore Embassy. Your invitation, please. Thank you, Ma. Go right in. Now then, here's my invitation. I don't have a poison dagger strapped to my thigh, etc., etc. I'm just doing my duty, sir. Everything's in order. Welcome back, sir. Yes, yes. Now, to find myself a drink. Welcome. I don't believe we've met. I am Ellenwyn, the Thalmor Ambassador to Skyrim. And you are? Ah, yes. I remember your name from the guest list. Please, Madam tell me Ambassador, more about yourself. So what you brings mind. you to this... <laughs> to Skyrim? What is it, Malborn? It's just that we've run out of the Alto wine. Do I have your permission to uncork the Arinthia Red? Of course. I've told you before not to bother me with such trifles. Yes, Madam Ambassador. My apologies. We'll have to get better acquainted later. Please, enjoy yourself. What can I get for you? You made it in. Good. As soon as you distract the guards, I'll open this door and we can get you on your way. Let's hope we both live through this day. Here you go, ma'am. The finest Colovian brandy. Is there anything else I can get for you? Of course. Let me see if we have another bottle of that. I'll be waiting by the door for everyone to be distracted. What does a fellow need to do to get a drink around here? Ah, oh, pardon me, friend. I didn't see you standing there. Allow me to introduce myself. Rosalon. Imports and exports by trade. Observer of human nature by avocation. You must be new around here. Bad manners to ask such a direct question at one of Ellenwyn's little soirees. But I have nothing to hide. I'm in from the south on business. 
And if you want to do business in Tamriel these days, well, you'd better get used to cozying up to the Thalmor. Like it or not. Ah, the one generous soul amongst a gathering of pinch pennies and lick spittles! If there's anything I can ever do for you, do not hesitate to call upon me. Wonderful! I can begin to repay your generosity immediately. Say on, friend. Is that all? <laughs> My friend, you've come to the right person. You could say that causing a scene is somewhat of a specialty of mine. Stand back and behold my handiwork. Attention everyone, could I have your attention please? I have an announcement to make. I propose a toast to Ellen Wynn, our that? mistress. What are you I doing? speak figuratively. Ugh. Nothing could be more unlikely than that someone would actually want her in Let's their go. bed. Let's go. Before anyone notices us. You are already in bed with her. But again, I speak figuratively, of course. Fine, fine. Get your hands off me. So far, so good. Let's hope nobody saw us slip out. We need to pass through the kitchen. Your gear is hidden in the larder. Just stay close and let me do any talking. Got it? Follow me. Who comes, Malvern? You know I don't like strange smells in my kitchen. A guest feeling ill. Leave the poor wretch be. A guest? In the kitchens? You know this is against the rules. Rules, is it, Zavani? I didn't realize that eating moon sugar was permitted. Perhaps I should ask the ambassador. Get out of here. I saw nothing. Your gear is in that chest. I'll lock the door behind you. Don't screw this up. I need to lock the door. 